Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you some tips on how you can maximize efficiency while building websites in Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in Wix Studio and really what I want to do is build a section that is gonna be used as a starting point for all sections on my website. So the first thing I want to do is come on over to the add panel and we'll drag out this container. Now for this container, what I want to do is set the width to maybe 80%. I want to set the minimum width for desktop to 90 pixels. And then I want to set the maximum width maybe to like 1920 pixels. And then we'll go ahead and center this, send it to the top and we can go ahead and drag this down. Now with this section, I might want to go ahead and add like 5% pixels on the top and the bottom. And then I'll grab the section itself and we can set the height to auto, just like that. So now we have this very basic section here. And if I come down to uh, tablet, we can go ahead and readjust this. Now for the width here, I might wanna set this to 90% because we have less real estate on tablet and mobile devices. So it's always smart to use the space here on these smaller breakpoints as wisely as possible. Then I'll go ahead and change the minimum width to maybe 600 for tablet. And I'll go ahead and remove the maximum width here. Then for mobile, we'll go ahead and leave this at 90% and maybe set the minimum width to 280. So now we have this section here that is responsive on all screen sizes. And the last thing I want to do is just remove the background color. So the next thing I want to do is actually grab the section itself. We'll right click and what we're gonna do is save this as an asset. Now I'm gonna save this as 80% container because on desktop, we have set this to be 80% width and we can save this to our saved assets and we can go ahead and apply it. Now, what this basically does is anytime I wanna add a brand new section, all I have to do is come over to the add panel, go to assets and we can just drag out an 80% width container. And what we have here is another section that has the same constraints that I've already applied. So we can see here, we now have two sections that will look identical on all screen sizes. Now inside of this container, I can edit this and add images, turn this into a grid, or basically do anything else that I want to do. But the beginning step is now complete for every section that I want to add. Alternatively, we could go even further by designing these sections out. For example, if I apply a CSS grid, give us a two column grid, maybe we can set like a five VW width here. In the right column, maybe we can add a simple image just like this, stretch it, let's round the corners. And then over here on the left-hand side, we could just add a title, a paragraph, and we can even add a button. Then we can select all three of these elements, stack them together. We'll align the items in the stack to the left. Maybe we'll set like a 5% spacing. Then let's center the stack and send it to the left and we can stretch it out to look something like this. And of course, with this button, we can bring this down to a more reasonable size and maybe even more reasonable height. Then with this stack selected, maybe we could set like a 15% margin on the top and the bottom. Then we can grab this container, come over to the row height, and we can set this to minimum content. And actually let's add more than 15%. Maybe we'll do like 30. So now we have a section that looks like this. We can bring up the height to something like this. So now we have this section here on desktop. We can come up down to tablet to kind of check it out here. And you'll notice that it did not keep our grid layout, but it did keep our kind of constraints that we have for the section itself. So all we need to do is grab this container. Let's go ahead and add a row to it. And for this image, maybe we can set this to the bottom row. And for the stack, we'll make sure that it's in the top row. Let's go ahead and align the items to the middle. Give us a little bit of space of a little gap here. And maybe for the bottom container, we can set this to be like 20, we can set this to be like 50 VH. And then for the top one, we can set this to minimum content. And of course, with this one, we might want to remove the 30% 
on the top and bottom for the margins. And maybe this 50 is a little bit too big, so we'll maybe bump this down to like 30. And of course, we will kind of adjust the size of the button here. And of course, we should probably be messing with the font sizes and stuff like that too. But we won't really worry about that for the moment. This is just kind of to be an example. Let's just assume we go ahead and do that for the mobile breakpoint as well. And we have the section exactly how we want. And we plan to use this on other client websites or even other pages on the same website. We can, of course, go ahead and save this as an asset. Um, I'm just going to call this one a basic section and we can either save this to our saved assets to use on multiple websites or we can save this to a specific client's website if we plan to use this specific designed section for multiple pages on their specific site. Just for now, we'll go ahead and just add it to our saved assets. And if I come over to add, come to assets, we should see our basic section down here. Of course, we can add this out again. And if we wanted to kind of change it up, we could have the image on the left and we could send the stack to the right. And now we have basically two versions of the same one with very minimal work that needed to be done. And obviously these sections are very basic examples, but hopefully this gives you an idea on how you can use this to your advantage. If you have very specific designed sections for a client website and they're a little bit kind of tedious to make, it might be worth creating one section, perfecting it on all breakpoints and saving it as an asset in their specific library and using it on the other pages or other sections that you may need that style of section for. On the flip side of things, if you create very basic sections like this and save them as your in your general saved assets area and use this on your client websites, it's much easier to design and edit these and add to the design rather than starting from scratch every single time. I do believe if you go this route, it's gonna save you a lot of time and it will allow you to build websites a little bit more efficiently inside of Wix Studio. That's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.